Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we are going to introduce you to the interface of Top Solid 7. This will be done by showing you some basic design and draft features. So the first thing that we're going to do once we've launched into Top Solid 7 is we're going to start a new project. Remember, Top Solid 7 is fully based on product data management. Therefore, the first thing that you would need to do is to create a project to manage. Here we're going to st store it in our local vault. And like that, our project is created. Now, from here, there's two ways to create a new document. I can just simply right-click anywhere in the project and say new part, new assembly, new draft, what have you. I can also go to here and just say new document and then choose from the common files to advanced files, like maybe I want to create a family of parts or specific material, to special files, like a 2D model, a 3D function, um, maybe some unfolding rules for my sheet metal. But here I'm just going to start with a simple part and say OK. And like that, we're in our part, and right here, Top Solid would like to know a name for this project, or this part, excuse me. Now here, just pick a name at random. That's because the file is actually being stored in the vault for us, so we don't have to worry about naming a file. Top Solid 7 does that for you. Here you're just going to name your part. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it my demo part. And like that, we're good. So, let's introduce you to the rest of the interface. Here you can definitely see your project manager. On the left-hand side, you're going to see your operations manager. This will be our history tree and then our Entities Manager. The Entities Manager is really, really cool because it manages everything that you create in each document, whether they're points, axes, planes, frames, sketches, what have you. It's all managed the same way regardless of who created that document. Next, let's go up to our menus. In our home menu where we started from, here you can start a new file, create a new project, open a project, even import a project. From there, we have our sketch icon bar. And you can see it's a very, very simple icon bar with just some basic tools. Moving on, we have shape creation, sheet metal creation, visualization, tools for rendering, and what have you. And then we have our tools to create planes, axes, patterns, all sorts of fun things. You also have pull down menus. So if you want to get into a more advanced function, for example, sometimes you'll go to the pull down menu. Also note that Top Solid's interface is completely customizable, so you can create your icon bars full of all of the standard functions that you use on a daily basis. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by just selecting my contour function. And here Top Solid automatically activates a sketch for us. And I'm just going to start sketching. I'm going to pick a line from there to there. And now I'd like to turn this into an arc. Now there's a couple ways to do that as well, and again, it depends on whether you're a power user or you just want to use the simplistic tools. So if I expand the menu here, you can see I can switch to arc. Well, I can also just right-click and gain access to the same function. So let's do that. So here I'm going to make a tangent arc, back to a line, and now here I'm going to draw an arc another way. Instead of right-clicking or going into my menus, I'm just going to come back, hover on that last point, and this time when I come out, it's automatically on tangent arc. And like that, I've created my sketch. From here, I'm just going to quickly add some dimensions. I want a dimension from that point to that point, and I would like to have this a centered dimension on this axis, and I'd like it to be 8 inches wide. If I zoom up, I can see the center point of my circle is not on my axis, and I'd like it to be. So with my dimension tool, I'm just going to select the two objects, and here I have a dimension. You could, of course, locate that dimension and type 0, but that's kind of silly, so I'm just going to right-click and choose Coincident and apply a geometric relationship. And finally, we'll add one more dimension over here, again, a centered dimension, and we'll make that 5 inches. And like that, our sketch is fully defined. From here, let's go ahead and make this an extruded part. Again, there's two ways to do it. I can go up to my Shape Tools and choose Extrude, or I can just right-click and see what Top Solid thinks I want to do. And here you can see it already knows what I want to do, in fact, so I'm going to choose Extruded. And like that, we're going to go into the Extrude function. Now, everything in here is 100% dynamic. So here I can just pull and tug on the arrows. I can double-click on this value to set a specific size. I can also right-click on the arrow and change some options. For example, I would like to include draft on this and even play with that a little bit. Or maybe, you know what, maybe I don't want draft. Two inches works for me. I'm just going to say OK. Now from here, I'm going to select that top face, create a sketch just via right-click again. Now this time, though, I'm going to do something fun. I'm going to do what we call a sketch operation. To do that, I'm going to go into my advanced sketch tools, go to operations, and choose offset. I'm going to select this bottom profile here, 
and you can see the preview up here. Now, maybe I'd like to have multiples. Nah. In this case, I just want one. I'm going to say OK. And right now you're thinking, well, that's just an offset. And for the most part, you're right, but it's a special type of offset. Here I want to add a boss real quick, just to give it a feature. And just like that, again, you can see our boss. It's all dynamic. I can add uh, draft to it. You can see I have fillets on there and what have you. I'm going to say that's good and accept it. From here, I'm going to go back and make a design change now. And I'm just going to double click on this face here to get that sketch. Right click and edit that sketch. And now I'm going to mess with it. I'm going to add another feature, maybe right here. And notice the four inch dimension is auto centering. I'm going to delete what I don't want because I don't want that or that. I'm going to trim, keeping only what I want. And I'm going to go and add a dimension from here to here. Maybe I want that to be four inches as well. And I'm going to add a fillet real quick as well. Why not? How about three eighths? Right there and right there. Now, remember, when I made that boss, I had offset the bottom profile, which now I've just changed, right? Let's see what Top Solid does. And like that, you can see Top Solid updates everything just perfectly. Let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to save that document real quick. And now from here, I'm going to go make a draft document. Just something simple. Pick a standard. Choose my source document. It's perfect. And now, I'm just going to drag and drop this right in. And like that, you're going to see that the view is created for you. Now, first of all, it created a front view, and maybe you don't want that. So you can use this little ball to change the standard view that you'd like. Or, right here in the world of 2D, you can hold your middle mouse button down and rotate dynamically to get the view that you want. That's pretty powerful. I'm just going to set this like this, pull it over. I'm going to say OK, generate a couple of auxiliary views. One there, one there, how about one right there? And like that, our view creation is done. I'm going to go ahead and save that as well. Now, I'm just going to quickly go back to my design here, and I'm going to go ahead and make a change. I'm going to go into my shape tools, and I'm going to go add a type of drilling. And here I'm going to use a counterboard hole, why not? And I'd like to locate it right at the center of that feature there. If we go down and look at all the sizes, I think the sizes are just fine. And like that, we'll say OK. And finally, I'd like to make a pattern going across this. So I'm going to go make a pattern of an operation. It'll be that operation. And I need to build a new pattern. So I'm going to go here and create a linear pattern. I want to stretch this out. And ideally, I'd like this to stop on the center of that. But I don't know what that distance is. So no problem. Let's go ahead and measure that. I'm going to create a distance parameter right on the fly. So it's just going to be called D for distance, and it's going to be a point measurement. The first piece of geometry is the center of that. To a point, second piece of geometry is going to be the center of that. There's your measured value. We'll say OK. We'll say OK. There's your preview, and OK. Now what's cool about that is I've related it to the measurement between the two points of those features. So if I go back and change this dimension here to be 9 inches, my pattern updates accordingly. Let's go back and look at our draft document and see if it's updated. And like that, it is. So hopefully this has given you a nice little sample of the way the Top Solid 7 interface is set up to work.